Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and I am here, ready to you are. Come on and join me. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live on Friday nights, live here on Facebook. Thank you for being here with me. Remember, I'm also on Instagram at uh, Sugar Pearls. I almost forgot. That's uh, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L-S underscore online. You can also catch me at my YouTube page. I want you to go ahead and subscribe to that channel um, because I always post a produced version of my video onto YouTube, which is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. I also put that video on my website, which is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, while that's getting hot, so I got a, um, a sweet potato. I am doing my very best to eliminate some white things from my diet. So no white potatoes. I've got a sweet potato in the oven. I'm going to mash that real good, add some brown sugar and butter and stuff to it and make it nice. Um, and we're going to have a, a shallow fried sea bass and I will finish that off in the oven. It's going to be marvelous. I'm yes, not breaded, uh, but it's going to be good just the same. So if you're looking to do fish or a different kind of fish a different way and incorporate that into your diet try a little sea bass yes i found a piece that was really nice and on sale now while my oil is heating up you know i like to season my oil so by seasoning i mean we're gonna add some things to make it a little more fragrant uh aromatic so we're going to add onion, garlic, a piece of a habanero pepper, pepper to it, and um, that fish is go it's going to be seasoned through and through, okay? Now I also, let me, let me, I'm just going to do some, a rough chop on that, okay? So a rough chop on the onion. I'm going to put a, a few large pieces of onion in my oil. I'm going to go and sit it. Ooh, yes. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Time. I'm alive. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. Habanero, seeds and all. Let's throw that in there. Okay. Ooh. That is already smelling good. Hey, y'all. Already. Alright. I'm gonna let that go until it gets um until the ingredients are in the oil get just brown and then I will pull them out so I can add my fish. Let me show you my sea bass. And we also got a little appetizer tonight too. I'll show you that also. Ah, uh, had it really wrapped in some paper towel there. Mm-hmm. You gonna eat? Get eaten today, bruh? Yes. That's the. That's a look of despair. Yes. Going in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. 
So now that I've got a nice aroma going in my oil, I'm going to just pull it off the fire just a little bit. Okay, I'll put it back on in just a second. Um, right now, I'm going to show you how I season my fish for tonight. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave my, my butcher paper here. Super helpful. Oh, yes. Let me tell you, I all week long, I've been wanting a nice bone fish. And I had, hey, Coco. <laughs> I had a little fish yesterday from a local restaurant, but child, I, I got a flounder plate. But it wasn't flounder. It was tilapia. And I need for them to know that they are not serving flounder. Like they say on their menu, it's tilapia. I know the difference. Okay. All right. So I, I went out and bought my own bonefish tonight. I got a nice piece of, uh, what did I say this was? Sea bass. Sea bass. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to cook it whole tonight. But before we cook it, we got to season it. So uh, in my kitchen, I like to make a little uh, essence. And tonight I'm making an essence to go along with my fish. Now in the, I'm going to look off to the side because I need to remember what I put in it. I'm looking at the ingredients that I put in it. All right, so this is my essence. See that? All of those ingredients in there. What I have is, um, and I used about two tablespoons of everything with the exception of red pepper and salt. The red pepper and salt, I only used about one tablespoon of that. All right. Everything else, two tablespoons. Uh, cumin, basil leaves, ground ginger, some tagine fruit seasoning. That's my tagine fruit seasoning. Uh, powder, garlic powder, some um, badia complete seasoning. That's saison that you'll find. The badia. That, that's the brand I use, okay? And what else? The salt, and I use a teaspoon, a teaspoon of sugar, okay? Because uh, I, I don't want my fish sweet, but it's what I need for the essence, okay? So I just, I just taught you how to make my essence, honey. Now, we're going to uh, put the dry, uh, we're going to use half of this. Uh, to rub on the fish on the outside and the inside of the fish um, but before we do that I want to get this even finer I want it powder powder fine all right so for that I have my little coffee grinder which I don't use to grind coffee I just use it to grind like spices pepper and stuff like that peppercorn all right so we're going to put our essence in there. Ooh, ooh, don't don't lose it. Cuz that's that's some good stuff. All right. Grind away. Okay? One more time. And now this is my essence in powder form. Now I'm only going to use half of this for the fish. All right. And then the other half I'm going to make, make into a wet seasoning. Okay. By adding just a couple more ingredients. All right. For the dry. Got my sea bass. Mm, beautiful sea bass. Uh, this is about a pound which is, I mean, it's just me. So this is going to be more than enough fish for tonight. I want the head. I want the eyes. I want everything. I want that fish scared when it's going into the oil. Scared. Look how scared that fish is. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and season. All right, half of it. I'm gonna go on that side. Ooh. Um, I know how to clean and gut and scale fish, but I don't want to do that these days. So I asked my fish guy to do it. They love doing it, just asking them to do it. Um, normally, if it's in the display case, it's already done. So you don't have to worry about that. All right. So you want to get this all under the fins and everything. All right. So. And that is a fully seasoned sea bass. I even put that essence on the inside because it don't make no sense if the inside ain't seasoned either. Okay, got that just a little bit more. All right, sit that right there. Now, um, what I want to go on the inside of my sea bass, it, I'm going to put, I sliced up some radish. I had some beautiful, um, leeks i found some leeks some um parsley and some radishes beautiful red radishes i already sliced those up i've got some shallots and um i'm gonna get my shallots sliced up now and then we're going to make our seasoning wet but for this it's, it's already just the way i need to be okay so i've got some sliced radish little habanero some uh red chili some garlic parsley that's another radish right there i'm i'm not gonna use that all righty i know it's it's such a heavenly mess let me show you what I'm doing. Okay. Might be able to get away with one shallow. No, I'm going to do two. I like um, for my food to be well seasoned. Now, when I say that, y'all can still hear me now, right? Or I'm just off, off camera peeling the shallot. Well seasoned food um, doesn't mean that it has to be salty. Uh, like I always say, if you've been watching this show over time, you know that uh, the way I season is by starting with uh, herbs first and then adding salt last. Because you will find that uh, as your food cooks, it's going to bring out some of the natural flavors. And you, you may find that you don't even want much more salt. But you need, you need some salt. So now I'm slicing up some leeks. I, I love leek. Honey. Yes. My hand don't want to cooperate with my knife today. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this stuff aside because this is going to cook in a little bit of oil later. All right. One more time. And I think that's it. Until you start to feel it getting tough, then stop. Okay. All righty. Boom. Shakalaka. All right. So now you've got your leeks. Do I have a recipe writer out there? Anybody? Because <laughs> I'm not writing anything down. Okay. I'm, I'm literally making this recipe up uh, tonight. Okay. Uh, and the way I do that, I, 
I'm serious. The way I do that is when I go to the store, I find ingredients that I like. This pepper is about to make me sneeze. <laughs> I see beautiful, fresh ingredients. And whatever I'm, I'm drawn to, that is what I... Hey, Cousin Calvin! Oh, my love. <laughs> That is what I'm going to use for whatever it is I'm going to cook. Um, so generally, when I get ready to do my food prep for the week, for what I'm going to do for you guys on Friday, I'm really just making it up as I go. And sometimes I'm making it up live on Facebook. All right? So when I mess up, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Okay, all right, This it's a live show, so live-ish what happens, yes, okay. Now, I'm going to put all those vegetables aside because those are going to cook a little bit later on. Now I've got my oil, which has my onion, my habanero pepper, I forgot to put my garlic in here, that's all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my garlic for my sauce later, all right. All right, so that's that's what we got going on. So I'm going to let that get hot. My potato is going to continue to stay warm in the oven. Now for the appetizer. I got you, boo. I got you. Yes, oysters. I know. Found some beautiful. I already shucked them. So, not to worry, I'm not, you won't see me cutting myself live on Facebook tonight, honey. So, let me, um, show you what I, what I got here. Ooh, yes. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, she's doing it. She's around here eating like she a queen. Yes, because I am. Alright, we're going to take that one on out. Alrighty. Oh, y'all, that, oh, <laughs> those peppers are no joke. Once you open them, that stuff just starts coming out of there. And I'm looking for my little paring knife. There it is. Thank you. I know you were looking out for it. So, for my little oyster tonight. Uh, maybe you got a little, little chili on me right there. Okay. Sit that back inside the shell. All right. So all I'm doing now is just kind of, oh, there's a little shell there. I'm just kind of uh, scooping the part that I want to eat away from the the membrane that it's attached to. Loosen that up. Don't worry, we're going to get to the main course, but we got, we got to have a little appetizer, boo. All right. I'm going to treat you right. Yes. All right, so we got our three little pieces of oyster here. Let me, let me turn this around here. That way I don't have to keep dragging the camera back. Some good old Texas Pete, boo. Boom, boom, boom. Mm hmm Just like that. Ain't nothing hard about this at all. A little lemon, lime juice, because I only had one lime left, and I want to use that for my sauce. And where's my... Garlic, garlic. Oh, I know what I had. My, um... Now, you may... You may think this is a little bit strange, but I have this vinaigrette that I also like to put inside of my oyster. So I'm gonna just do a, um, I'm left-handed, so I have to do it the other way so you can see. Ooh, too much. Drip, drip, drip. That's too much too. Baby. Bon appetit. Get out of there. 
When I was young and before my taste buds matured, I was like, how do people eat oysters? Like, that is so disgusting. It looked like snot. Okay. But it's really... Honey. Uh, I, I can, how you don't want to eat that? Look at that juice. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh. I'm going to save the last one for later. Put that back in the fridge there. Alright. Now, for the main course, Get that fire back up. You want to make sure that when you drop your fish. Oh, you didn't see me back. Um, um, put flour on the fish. <laughs> yes, that's because I'm not. I'm not going to put flour on the fish. This is, you'll see um, like a lot of pan fried fish and stuff, especially in Asian cultures. I'm not adding no more to this situation. Okay, so this is a pan fried fish, no flour, nothing like that. All right, it is going in the pan just like this. Oh, Lord, I forgot to score my fish. So, let me go ahead and thank God. I'll try this one. Hopefully, it's sharp enough. So, I'm going to make a couple of uh, slits, diagonal slits along the side. There we go. Yeah. the main thing you want to make sure so that when it fries it um it gets all inside that meat now that I've scored it I've got to add just a little more seasoning inside there okay. now if I were doing this um for my family I would let this fish you know, sit in the seasoning for a little while, but because it's a live show, I wanted to show you how I did it from start to finish. Okay? So, with a really sharp blade, you want to go ahead and make your slits. I, I like three for some reason, so I do three. You don't have to. But, um, yes, this fish is, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, look at it. Mm-hmm, you about to really tastes good <laughs> so make sure you put your essence down inside of the slits that you made so that it's nice and seasoned for the pan okay and then I'm gonna pull it out stick it in my off to the side to drain some of that fat off and we'll do the veggies that are gonna go with the fish <sighs> it's sugar pro studio kitchen live oh my gosh i think this is show 24 i know i'm i'm going i'm gonna just keep going and going um until i can't go no more but this this is my therapy so i gotta keep it up <laughs> sugar pearls yes um I had people at homecoming in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at Stillman calling me Sugar Pearl. I think I'm going to get a, a, 
I need to get like something with my with sugar pearl on it. So like that's not, that's like my name. Like <laughs> yeah. So the sugar pearls. If you don't know, and you'll be able to see this story on my website if you just go to www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Uh, sugar is named for my dad's mom. Pearl is named for my mom's mom, Pearlene. I put the two together because as a kid, I always wanted to, um, have something where I create an atmosphere of love around gathering and food, just like in my family on both sides, um, on sugar side and Pearlene side. So, um, this is my way of paying homage to my grandmother. So, I put the two names together, and that's how I came up with Sugar Pearls. Yes. So, all right, baby. I hear the oil. It's getting, um, you want to make sure it's about 325, 350. <laughs> when you do that, now, I don't have a kitchen thermometer. Okay, um, I'm, I'm a chef, but sometimes I ain't all the way legit. So, the way I test to see if it's hot enough, I'm going to take a little bit of cornstarch and I'm going to drop it. If it sizzle up, it's hot enough. Okay, yeah, that's your tip. Growing up, we ain't have no kitchen thermometers, child. No, you drop that flour in, and when it sizzle and bubble up, then you know it's ready to, to drop that fish or drop that chicken or pork chop or whatever it is you want to put in there. That's just, that's how we did it. <laughs> All right. Let me, oh, it's, it's actually heating up quite fast. It's Fish Friday. Yeah. And tonight, not quite. Tonight we're doing sea bass. So we've, we've got the sea bass already seasoned. Hello, Mr. Seabass. Oh, Lord, yes. Everything, the eyes and everything, the, the whole head, everything is going inside. The fishmonger went on and gutted it and scaled it and everything. And all I had to do was season the outside and the inside, make my three little slits on both sides of the fish. And that's going to be ready to drop in a little bit. You can flour it if you want, but for my recipe tonight, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I am trying, and not because of Lent or anything. Um, I just, I need to make sure that I eat responsibly. Yes. All right. So while that's going, uh, I, I really need to write these recipes down. I know I'm making them up as I go, but it's a good idea to write them down, don't you think? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Johnny! <laughs> so, what I did for the essence, oh, the in the essence, for those of you wondering what I season the fish with, and I got a little bit reserved because I need that because I'm going to make it wet in a little while. But for the dry rub for my fish, I've got uh, ground cumin, red pepper flakes, basil, garlic powder, ground ginger, tagine fruit seasoning, complete saison, um, salt, and a little bit of sugar. Put it in my coffee grounder, ground it up until it was a nice, look at powder, powder, I say, yeah. All right, I think that pot is hot. 350, baby. I'm telling you, that flour or that cornstarch will tell you when the flour, when, it's, when the oil is ready for, for your fish. Now, I'm going to drop this in there. And I don't want to burn my tail. So, I'm going to leave some of the tail sticking out, hopefully. All right. So let's, let's say goodbye to Mr. Seabass. Woo! 
So that's going. Let me just show you what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, baby. It's what we do. It's Fish Friday, right? You ain't say how I had to do it. You're doing it my way. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Scotty. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Pardon me for not waving. I've got, um, when I sliced up those peppers, that habanero and the chili, I'm going to turn that up a little bit because I want this to cook five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side. Um, I still have some of that pepper residue on my hands, so I'm trying not to, like, touch my phone. All right. But I see you. Hello, thank you for watching. I love you for watching. Y you make my night every time. Yes. Get that up, 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 up. All right. Put that to the side. I can throw this paper away. And now I'm going to get ready to do my little sauce. It's not like a sauce sauce, but you know. So I've already sliced and seeded my peppers. Now I'm just going to do some. Ooh, get back on that. <laughs> oh, great. Lost my, my garlic. Do another one now. Ooh, that fish. Oh, my gosh. All right, same for the habanero. Slice, slice. And one more red chili. This knife is getting dull. I need to sharpen it again. All right. So those are the ingredients that are go, gonna go inside my sauce. That's doing nice, yes. Very nice. Now for the piece of garlic that I lost, <laughs> I'm gonna do just just another little piece uh, to go. I just love garlic, honey. Uh, as always, my ingredients are optional. If if you don't like certain things, then it's not a must that you include it. And I actually wanted red snapper for this dish, but they didn't have any, so I I had to go with the um, with the sea bass, which I ain't mad about. All right, but uh, I hope. I hope that you'll get comfortable with just this amplifying, child. You ain't got to do it my way. Okay, got that. Yeah, boy! And that's it for your garlic. I'm going to leave it just like that. I ain't going to chop it or nothing. I want it kind of bruised. Speaking of brews, I forgot my lemongrass. Lemongrass, yes, lemongrass. I'll show you that in just a second. So this is lemongrass. Um, 
when you slice it, that doggone thing slip. Just let it live. It is phenomenal. Let me, let me turn my fish. I think that's been about five minutes, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to do one of the lemongrass. Ooh. Peel that back a little bit. You want to peel your lemongrass back. This, it just looks like a little stick. And what I want to do is bruise it because I want the that citrus flavor that's in the lemongrass to be infused in my fish. Okay. I'm gonna show you that in just a little bit. I'm gonna take the fish out first. And I'm gonna swap out the oil and all of that. I don't want to use the same oil for my vegetables. I want a, a, a brighter... I don't want my vegetables taking like this. Okay. So I'm going to use some olive oil for my veggies. that on some paper towel I know it's, it's I'm making a lot of noise in here chat it's gonna be worth it in a little bit though just stick with me and I'm just gonna pour this off okay Ooh. all right bear with me one scorch my fish you know it's just a little a little browner than I want it to be all right let's turn that back up we're gonna add a little bit of oil and we'll start the sauce okay now remember that the rest of that essence that you had left over from coating the fish yeah, you should have a little bit left. The uh, All you're going to add to this now to make it wet is rice vinegar. It's a teaspoon and a half. I've got some ginger paste. Mm. 
I don't know how much that is. It's, it's not a whole teaspoon. Okay. Got some uh, balsamic capers. I know there are a lot of ingredients in, in this recipe. Like I said, uh, it's optional. Capers. Sesame oil. Not a whole lot. The sesame oil ain't nothing to play with. So you don't want a whole lot, okay? I'm not even going to go a whole tablespoon. That's under a tablespoon. And there. And I know, still going. A little, oh, sweet hot mustard. That was about a teaspoon. Still going. Soy sauce. Two tablespoons. <laughs> I know. And I got a little scotch bonnet pepper sauce, which you don't have to use. Mm, I just wanted to, child. I got a teaspoon of that in there. Can't hurt. It can't hurt, really. All right. So you mix those ingredients with your dry essence, and this is what you got. Oh my God. Oh. Good God Almighty. Oh. You're going to love it. All right. Okay. Before. Bruising my lemongrass. This lemongrass is going to go on the inside of my fish. Let me show you how I bruise it. Just break it at a few different points. And then with your mallet on the pronged side. could smell this um sometimes when I buy lemongrass like that you if I go to the farmer's market I can get several more stems of it um I make a tea out of it lemongrass tea is the bomb okay just peel it like I showed you and then break it and bruise it peel break bruise Good God, that smells good. So I'm going to stick this inside the fish. Uh, somewhere. Y'all, when I tell you I'm tired, yet still somehow energized, it is crazy. I have been up and down the road, here and there, everywhere. And loving every minute of it. It's been so good. I got to see my family uh, at my alma mater, Stillman College. Yes, I am HBCU proud. Stillman College, baby. Nice paro and promo. Yes, you can check the link in my other posts with another one. But it's it's been CIAA week here. Um, the last one, they say. I don't think it's going to last in Baltimore, child. They'll be back. They say it's going to be the last one in Charlotte. Uh, so I've just been rocking my my HBCU and Stillman College payroll all week. So I thought that I would share that with you guys as well. 
All right, so now let's get a little bit of olive oil in this thing. Or a whole lot. And that's the extra virgin olive oil. All right, I'm gonna tilt the camera so you can see what is happening. Stephanie, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, paying homage to my grandmom's sugar and pearl. Mm -hmm. And all of the veggies that I had in the beginning, the radish. Mm, Lord, that's good. The leek. The red chili pepper. The habanero pepper. Fresh garlic. Fresh thyme. All of that is going in here right now. So I'm making this up as I go. If it don't come out right, then it's all your fault. So I couldn't fit my lemongrass on the inside of my fish because I already cooked it. So I'm going to put it inside my sauce. Okay? Because I'll still get the flavor that I need from it. Alright, so I'm just bunching it up and I'm going to throw it in there. So I got my essence mixed up here. I'm going to let this go for a couple, couple more minutes. I know, I know, I'm, don't worry, I got you though. And I got some of the, some of the uh, lemongrass in there anyway. Oh Lord of mercy, these peppers. Yes, yes, even your food got to be pretty, honey. Mm -hmm. Yes, get that back on there. Hi, my cousin Belinda. Hi, mommy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that with my raggedy self sometimes, but I'm glad that you're proud. Thank you. <laughs> Crank that up. I'm going to add just a little bit of... Yeah! Little water to that. Mmm, 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 mmm. really um the the flavor of that as that sauce really tastes kind of asian so i don't shall I, I just make it up as i go so i don't know so i'm gonna do a few dollars in my veggies And that sesame oil. <clears throat> oh, there you go. That was the sneeze I was waiting for. <laughs> From all those peppers, that habanero and that red chili. I needed a good old sneeze. Let that cook down. Boom. Shakalaka. Y'all, this is going to be good. 
I'm excited. Yes, indeedy, sweetie. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but since I made all this up, this uh, uh, live on the air, um, it's just going to have to stay out. So once these get a little more tenderized, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of lime juice. I do have one little lime, and I'm going to juice a little bit of that. I'm going to juice half of it in my sauce. Sweet potato. Let me pull that up. We ready to ride. So we got a nice, let me it's spicy. Maybe I should have gone a little less on the chili flakes. It's spicy now. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. Let's um. I'm preparing myself. <laughs> I'm preparing. All right. Y'all, no, just pardon my mess. Because plating is important. Colors in your food are important. It needs to be pretty. It needs to draw people in and be appetizing. And I'm, I'm here for all of it. My, there we go. Look, Italian parsley. And can you believe it? This is dinner, boo. Dinner is soaked. I don't know if you can really see. I feel like I need to plate this in a different. Let me, let me, let me, hold, hold on. Because I, I got to do it right. It's got to be right. My trusty ivory plate. Because the pictures come out really good. <laughs> the pictures look amazing on my ivory plate. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, now you talking. A little taste of Asia here. Let's get them right here. Okay, get them veggies in there. I started to do some broccoli and everything, y'all, but I just didn't have energy. I'm still recovering from my, my wild escapades at home. Huh? <laughs> still recovering. So you got some fish tonight. I got my sweet potato in the oven. I ain't even gonna worry about taking the sweet potato out right now. We just gonna 
Mm -hmm. Of course, of course I have to take a picture. Yes. And I charged up my old phone to do it. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Oh, yes. So when they marry, it's not that hot. It's, it's got a kick. I ain't gonna lie. But um, if you want to adjust the heat, then either don't add the red pepper flakes to your essence or just cook what I did by half. Now that right there. Mm. That make you want to walk around Jericho all day. All day. Mm. Mm. Yep, from now on, when I get bonefish, I want the head, the eyes, everything. Because that is good to my soul. Mmm. Little gelatinous around the eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're freaked out, but child. It is so doggone good. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm a, um. And look, I had a salad ready and everything, y'all. I ain't do none of the stuff that I planned. This is crazy. Had my salad greens already cleaned and washed. And I was going to make a little salad. Child, bump that salad. This um fish dish. You got to make this. You got to make it. A nice shallow fry. Pan fry. No breading. <sighs> Remember, you can go to the website, www.sugarpearlsonline.com, and I'm going to have this uh, recipe posted to Instagram and YouTube, so you got to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Sugar Pearls. <coughs> Excuse me, that pepper chair. And that's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. That's the YouTube channel. My Instagram is sugarpearls uh, underscore online dot com. All right. And I'll have those posted for you um, before Monday. All right. Until then, thank you as always so much for watching. Always know that I love you. I really do. And I hope you love me back.